Hello dear students, 4th grade, how are you today? Welcome again in al Hadil Muhammad Schools. Today's lesson is reading comprehension, which is lesson 3 from unit 8. And you need to open your people's book page uh, 100 and your workbook page 84. And we have an outcome for today in fair meaning. My students, please open your people's book page 100. Reading Comprehension Lesson 3 Exercise number 1 Answer the questions with full sentences Here we have four questions about the previous poems. Number 1 What does a seed need to grow according to the first poem? What do you think that a seed need to grow? Excellent! It needs water and it Warmth from the sun. Number two. What does the seed become? What does the seed become? Yes, it becomes excellent. It becomes a big tree. Number three. Which animals have a happy home there? Yes, you can see the animals that have a happy home in the trees which are swooping sparrows and squirrels. So we have to write here, sparrows and squirrels have a happy home there. Number four. Why aren't the animals in poem two happy now? As you remember my students that here we have why, and we have to begin the answer with because. Why aren't the animals in poem too happy now? Yes, excellent, because cities and towns make the air dirty. Now let's move to the next activity. Read poem 3 and do the activities. Here we have activities about uh, poem 3. Number the stages of the cycle of life in order. The cycle of life for the ladybird. We have here stages for the cycle of life. We have the pupa, egg, young ladybird, larva, and ladybird. And as you can see here uh, in the cycle of life for the ladybird, it began with egg. And then it became larva. This is number two. After that, it became a pupa. This is number three. Then it became a ladybird with uh, yellow and black, which is y this uh, young ladybird. And then it became with red and black uh, spots. So this is the ladybird. Let us repeat again. Egg. Larva, pupa, young ladybird, and then the ladybird. So here let us uh, number them. Egg, after egg, larva, this is number two. And then a pupa, this is number three. After that, young ladybird, this is number four. And the last one, which is ladybird, this is number five. Now move to the next one. Write the stages of the cycle of life. A. Spotty and Specky. Spotty and Specky تكون مقسمة وأيضا شائكة, which is larva. B. Yellow and black. Yellow and black, which is young ladybird. Brown and dry, which is a pupa. تكون بنية وجافة which is pop. D. Red with a black spot Yes, excellent, which is the ladybird And the last activity Which poem is your favorite and why? Here my students, you have to tell us which poem is your favorite ما هي القصيدة المفضلة لديك and why? You have the first poem which is about a plant the second poem, which is about animals, and the third poem, which is about the cycle of life. So, 
which poem is your favorite please my students uh, write your answers and don't forget to send it for me my students move to your workbook page a t4 exercise number one Read the poems on a people's book pages A98 and 99, then choose the best summary of each poem. Here we have poem 1, poem 2, and poem 3. My students, in this activity, you have to do, choose the best summary, أي الملخص الأفضل لك القصيدة. We have poem 1, which is about a plant. Poem 2, which is about animals, and poem 3, which is about cycle of life. Let's read the first summary, A, the future life of a tree. مستقبل حياة الأشجار B, how insects are different from another, other animals. كيف أن الحشرات مختلفة عن باقي الحيوانات. C. The life of an insect. حياة الحشرة. D. How we can make life better for animals in the future. كيف يمكننا جعل حياة الحيوانات أفضل في المستقبل. E. How a tree grows. كيف تنمو الشجرة. F. People do things which are bad for animals. The best summary for Poem 1 is A, the future life of a tree. So this is the best summary for the first poem. Now what about poem 2? Which one from these sentences is the best summary for poem 2? Yes, excellent, which is D, how we can make life better for animals in the future. If أفضل للحيوانات في المستقبل. So this is the best summary for poem two. Now what about poem three? Yes, which is C, the life of an insect. دورة حياة الحشرة. Now move to the next activity. Write the number of the poem that tell, tells us these things. A. Some animals live in trees. بعض الحيوانات تعيش في الأشجار. Yes, excellent, which is poem 1. B. We should not go fishing so much. Excellent, which is number 2. So, so this is about the second poem. Now, let's move to the next one. Plants need sun and water to grow. Yes, excellent, which is poem 1. So here we have to write number one. Uh, D. Insects come from eggs. Yes, which is number three, the third poem. E. Some insects change color as they grow. Also, this is about poem three. F. Cutting down trees is bad for animals. Which is about the second poem, poem 2. And the G, cities and towns make the air dirty. Also, this is about poem 2. And the last one, tall trees grow from teeny seeds. Excellent, which is about poem 1. My students, don't forget to answer the question about your favorite poem from these three poems. And that's all for today. See you next class and goodbye.